Are you the kind of person who finds cities charming? Well, I was never a city gal while growing up, but Bangkok is an amalgamation of so many different spheres of city life with its towering cityscapes, sky lounges, bustling street markets, food, grand malls, culture, and a little bit of nature all packed in one. There's so much to do that I really wanted to spend some time in Bangkok to know what it had in store for me. After flying down from India to Bangkok, in the previous episode, I checked into my hotel in the Kuala Lumpur area of Pangrak district. So my day started at a coffee shop called Pompano, from where I booked a Grab bike, which is one of the most economical ways of getting around Bangkok. Hello. There are obviously more options like we have the trains, but I think this is a very convenient option for solo travelers. Hi guys, it's another day in Bangkok and today I'm doing something very exciting because you know what? मैंने थाईलैंड आने से पहले बहुत सुना था कि यहाँ पे बहुत अच्छा अच्छा खाना मिलता है द रेस्टोरेंट हेयर आर जस्ट अमेजिंग एंड टुडे आई एम डूइंग अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ फूड वॉक एंड गोइंग टू अ बंच ऑफ डिफरेंट प्लेसेस एंड विद मी टुडे आई आल्सो हैव अ फूड एक्सपर्ट कैफे हाय नाइस टू मीट यू एक्चुअली वी मेट येस टूडे वेन आई विजिटेड द हस्की कैफे एंड just was kind enough to tell me that you know what i'll come with you and i'll help you with uh, places over here because i can't read thai script and he's a local here yeah so. of course you know since i lived here before and i can speak some thai and yes. i can read some thai so will it happen to help yep. yeah we are at a restaurant called shugetsu and it's uh, of japanese origin i heard it's a michelin guide place the originally from japan and they have a uh, ingredients they imported from japan Kimchi and beef as well, but has a pork. Mm. Okay. And these are the rice balls. Intestine? I'm not really big fan. Okay, I'm looking forward to this one. Look for all the things that I can find. So you just break an egg on it? Yep. All right. Thank you. So I have miso ramen over here. It has minced pork in it and also like a boiled egg. It's really good. That's like a soupless noodle. Yep, so it's noodle. Mm, pretty good flavor for it. Very flavorful. Yeah. All right, and I'm also going to be trying some of these soupless noodles. I think it's really nice, like very flavorful. We are all done with our food. I had something called the miso ramen, but it also had bamboo shoot, which I really enjoyed. I had the uh, abura soba. So overall, this was a good experience. Now we are headed to our next location. You know, now the travel is opening up, and I'm here in Thailand. I've started realizing just how many people depend on hotels, airlines, and hospitality services for their experiences, and even more people depend on it for their livelihood. That made me wonder how the hospitality and travel industry manages to run so seamlessly. catering to millions of people every day. I did some research and that's how I came to know about Saber. The Saber story started over 60 years ago as a joint initiative between American Airlines and IBM to create the world's first ever computerized airline reservation system. I honestly wonder what the world would look like if we did not have the convenience of booking and ticketing platforms right now. Over the years, Saber has evolved through a series of revolutionary firsts to a technology ecosystem that touches almost every stage of a traveler's experience. Today, Sabo is a global premier technology in travel which powers airport check-in kiosks, online travel sites, airline and hotel reservation networks and scores of other travel solutions. Their team of experts deliver cutting-edge travel technology solutions that powers airports, airlines, hoteliers, travel agents and helps customers craft personalized experiences for the traveler to cherish. Each day, millions of people interact with Sabo technology and chances are that you have to without even realizing it. In short, Sabo makes travel happen. If you're interested in learning more about them or joining their journey to make travel happen, click on the link in the description box below to their website. So cafe is just teaching me some Thai words. Kopang ka is thank you. Yep, and ka is for the girls. You know, the girls say ka. Ka. The boys say ka. Ka. Okay. Kopang ka so or kopang ka. Kopang ka. Kopang 
Uh, so, do you call the train the metro here? BTS. BTS. Yep. <laughs> BTS, BTS, like the band BTS. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we also have um, the underground train as well. Yes. MRT. Okay, MRT. Yep. All right. So, so MRT underground, BTS. BTS is sky overhead train. sky. All right. Yeah. Now we're at this restaurant which is called Khadmark. What does it mean? Khadmark can mean spicy and Mark is in Mark Weens. I'm, I'm not sure how many of you know of Mark Weens who's a very famous uh, food blogger and YouTuber. He has a restaurant here. When I was coming to Bangkok, I really wanted to try some of the things that are recommended by Ma uh, to try here in Thailand and especially in Bangkok. So one of the things that I really wanted to do was come visit his restaurant. So we're going to try some stir fry holy Thai basil and it's going to be a very authentic recipe and uh, it's going to be mark spicy because he eats a lot of spicy food. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to be okay with the spice levels because Indian food is spicy. It's true. So we've got our stir fried pork. There's also a vegetarian option over here so if you come visit the Padmark uh, restaurant if you're a vegetarian, you also have that option. But I'm really looking forward to this because cafe, as he just mentioned, this is like a crispy fried duck egg. And that's how it's even more authentic because duck egg is what the original recipe also contains. Mm. I'm just waiting for the spice to hit me. Oh, the fried pork is really, really nice. It is on the spicy side now that I've eaten a bite of it and it's just stayed in my tongue for some time. The crispy egg is really, really good. Okay, we've got the yolk now. So good. Is it spicy? It is spicy. I think I got a piece of uh, chili. <laughs> because it's quite hot outside. So over here, we've come especially to get the boba tea. If you're not aware what it is, I'm going to show it to you soon. So we are now in M.Cortier Mall on the ground floor. And the place that we want to go to is called the Fire Tiger where we're going to try some boba tea. But really love this place, it's so pretty. They also have some food festivals over here every now and then. And I'm sure when that happens, it becomes a really lit place. Um, black sugars, you said it's nice, right? Yeah, those are not too heavy either. So like, okay. those are like the classic. All right. And what about fire tiger milk tea? So like, these two are the, re the most recommended. Okay. Creme brulee, wow. Guys, this boba tea is so good. I have a lot of boba tea pee hai, but this is probably one of the best. So, what boba is basically is uh, tapioca fruit. Uske jo ke seeds hote hai, fir, I don't know, fruit hota hai, fruit part. That is the little black dots that you see at the bottom. And this particular one had three layers. So it had boba at the at the base and uske upar tha milk tea. And above that was a layer of I think cream and that was just burnt to make it crispy from the top. And it was like a creme brulee topping and it was really really delicious because in every bite you can taste the burnt part, you can taste the milky part and you can also get a boba in it. So definitely must have this. So because we had one good experience with the bubble tea, boba tea, we are actually trying another one. Interesting. It tastes the milk tea more. It has more milk tea. Yeah. This is quite chewy.
camera is a little discharged at the moment but we are at the top of the M Kotiya mall and it's incredible what is that park over there uh, Benchester Park Benchester Benchester City Benchester Benchester City Emporium Mall uh, yes uh, from 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 from, 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 from station from, 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 these are all the nicer hotels in this area exactly. right. famous for like tourists very incredible this view is actually and i honestly would have never known of this view if it wasn't for cafe who told me about this yeah, place yeah it's quite random to see like this kind of like a balcony yeah so thank you so much you're welcome आज ना सनसेट कुछ खास देखने को मिला ही नहीं क्योंकि अभी जब हम लोग यहाँ पे थे बालकनी एरिया में कुछ देर पहले बहुत तेज़ बारिश शुरू हो गई एंड वी हैड टू हेड इन साइड टू द स्टार बक्स ओवर हेयर एंड स्टार बक्स भी यहाँ का बहुत ही ज़्यादा फिटी है स्पेशली क्योंकि एक रूफ टॉप स्टार बक्स है बट इट्स स्टिल एक्सट्रीमली एक्सट्रीमली ब्यूटिफुल टू बी जस्ट हेयर ऑन दिस रूफ टॉप नज रियली नाइस सनसेट बिहाइंड यू This was a really good day, guys. I just said bye to cafe, and uh, all I have to do that now is book a grab for myself and head back to the hotel. Hi guys, it's my next day here in Bangkok, and today I'm going to show you because, as opposed to all the city life that I've shown yesterday to you, I'm going to show you a little bit. अनयूजुअल सी जगह ले जाना चाहती हूँ बैंकॉक की विच आई थिंक इवन लॉर्ड ऑफ थाई लोकल इज नॉट बीन टू एंड आई विल फर्स्ट शो यू वॉट द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम ओवर हेयर इफ यू नॉट टेकिंग टुक टुक और इफ यू नॉट टेकिंग अ ग्रैब राइड लुक्स लाइक बिकॉज आई एम टेकिंग दी एम आर टी टू डे टू हेड टू माई डेस्टिनेशन एम आर टी बेसिकली यहाँ की अंडरग्राउंड ट्रेन सिस्टम है जैसे दिल्ली में मेट्रो होती है वैसे यहाँ पे एम आर टी है एंड दिस वॉट वी आर टेकिंग इज दी अंडरग्राउंड ट्रेन विच वे क्लास ओके थ्री ओके थैंक यू सो मच Idiot! I wore a cap on a scooter, and it fell out. And the driver is so sweet; he actually went and got it. Thank you so much. Sorry. Sorry. So I've reached my destination from the MRT, and now we are taking a Grab bike to reach the pier. How much? Okay. So let me explain where am I headed. Now I've read about this place called Brang Kashao, and the, the speciality of this is that uh, Bangkok has a river here which is called the Chao Phraya River. You take a ferry to go across the Chao Phraya River, and once you reach there, you reach a very nice island where there is no commercial development in many years. So it's literally like a place which is lost in time. It's very very old traditional Thai place, and from here we are going to take a ferry and go to Brang Kashao Island. Okay, so the ticket here is twenty baht. So first things first, जैसे आप यहाँ पेर पे उतरेंगे यहाँ पे आपको एक bike rental की shop दिखेगी. and uh, the best way of exploring this idle island is actually on a bike so yahan pe teen bike ki options hain ek uh, 60 baht for the day ek 80 baht for the day and ek hai 100 so main ek middle option choose kar rahi hu jo 80 baht ki hai kyunki ye light cycle hai aluminum ki so ye din aaj ko mujhe lagta hai kafi fun hone wala hai kyunki i'm literally going to be biking across an island and exploring it so yes where should i head to where should i head to ये साइकिल तो बहुत ही कतई धीरे चल रही है यार इसमें गेयर सिस्टम नहीं है चला के देखनी चाहिए थी साइकिल मुझे रेंट करने से पहले आई फील एंड द नेक्स्ट स्टॉप देन आई थिंक आई वांट टू गो ऑन इज दिस वॉक वे दिस इज लाइक फन
इट इज एक्सट्रीमली हॉट एंड ह्यूमे यू कैन सी हाउ ह्यूमे इट इज बट आई एम रियली इंजॉइंग द साइकिल राइड हुए और ऑनेस्टली द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ दिस प्लेस इज दैट यू हैव ऑल ऑफ दीज हाउसेज ऑन स्टिल्स दीज वॉक वेज ऑन स्टिल्स मेन रोड तो है ही है बट अगर आप अंदर अंदर जाएंगे इंटीरियर में इस जगह के इट्स ऑल ऑन स्टिल्स बिकॉज यहाँ पे फ्लडिंग की बहुत प्रॉब्लम होती है यहाँ पे वाटर राइज हो जाता है कभी कभार इन द मानसून सीजन So this is the first ever shop that I've come across in Bhankrashao, and मुझे मन करा कि मैं यहाँ से कुछ खाने के लिए ले लूँ एन माई टाइम इन दिस लिटल आईलैंड मैं यहाँ पे एक छोटे से कैफे में आई थी यहाँ पे इतने अच्छे अच्छे कैफेज और खाने की जगह है मैंने बिल्कुल एंटिसपेट नहीं किया था एंड वन रियली एक्साइटिंग थिंग दैट्स हैपनिंग टू डे इज दर मीटिंग अप सब्सक्राइबर हु स्टेज इन बैंक ऑफ सो गाइज आफ्टर बंकर शाओ आई टुक अ फेरी बैक टू द मेन लैंड एंड आफ्टर दैट आई टुक अ ग्रैब बाइक एंड आई केम टू वाटर रोल So this is a very famous uh, landmark of uh, Bangkok especially during sunset time it's one place that you can definitely come to and just look at this temple from afar with the sun setting behind it it's a beautiful sight but unfortunately it's a very cloudy day today so we can't catch a proper sunset but like i had mentioned i have somebody with me for this place hi piyushi hi So nice to meet you. I am filming you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I am super, super excited. Super excited. Yeah, I, I didn't even expect that you will respond and you will meet also. So no, no, no. <laughs> I love making friends whenever I'm traveling, and so, especially yeah. because you're locally based. I think true, that's true. that's true. really nice. Yeah. So yeah, Piyush is going to be uh, taking me to the other side. Are you? Yes, yes. For Let's sure. go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so we are at the pier now, and we're waiting for some local boats so we can cross the Chao Phraya River. Piyush was telling me that she has two kids. Um, how old are they? My son is eight. My daughter is five. Okay. So with a son and a daughter who are this young, obviously you need somebody to always take care of them. But she still made it to meet me today. The moment you messaged me, it was like hardly forty, forty-five minutes. Yeah, exactly. I told him that I'm going. I'll make your chapatis, but I'll go out. <laughs> Khanijo is here. I always say Khanijo. So I said. That's so sweet. That feels personal to me. कि मुझे भी Khanijo बुला रहा है. I always say this to my husband, and बहुत ही impromptu plan था ये. What who? It is another temple, and over here we have some stalls, souvenir shops. And we also have some super friendly cats over here on the street. After walking a little bit, we've reached this place called Riva Arun, and I can't believe we found this place because the view on all sides is so so mind blowing, and the entire Chao Phraya River is visible in front of me. It's a magnificent view, and I feel like I'm on a candlelight dinner over here with Piyushi. With me. Uh, I can have pad pa Thai. I can try. Pad you want to try pad Thai, right? And the one vegetarian pad Thai with pad the tofu and vegetable, no eggs. मुझे बहुत सारे इंस्टाग्राम पे रिकमेंडेशन आए थे मैंगो एंड स्टिकी राइस सो वी ऑर्डर सम मैंगो एंड स्टिकी राइस फॉर श्योर इट्स वेरी वेरी नाइस दिस इज माई फेवरेट डिश आई नेवर ट्राई एनीथिंग एल्स One by two, all of you. Sorry, I had it. Sprouts. Mm -hmm. This is uh, tofu. tofu. This is pad Thai oh, with tofu and with some vegetables. Okay. And it's vegetarian. No eggs. No seafood. No chicken. No meat. It's Great. It's a vegetarian option. Yes. And this is my duck. I'm very excited about food, and I still can't get over how beautiful the view is.
and now we're just walking back to the MRT station and uh, and she's an energy bomb she's out since morning but still she is like full of energy Okay so we've reached the MRT station thank you so much it was such a good evening same here thank yeah. you so much for allowing me to join you thank are you are thank you thank you so like much that. all right bye bye. Well, bye so that was it guys for this vlog it was super duper fun mujhe bangkok se pyar sa ho gaya hai maine ye side of bangkok kabhi imagine bhi nahi kiya tha if you enjoyed watching this side of thailand make sure that you like this video subscribe to our channel and also share it with your friends with this i will see you next time in an all new video all right guys bye